Well, good afternoon. It's a Monday afternoon, and uh, we're actually having some rain today. Well, I actually started last night at about midnight, and it's supposed to give us a little bit of rain today and uh, tomorrow. Now, we're, like I said, my last video, we're in a drought. So it appears, and you'll see in the video, that uh, we got about 1,500 gallons of water, or about a quarter inch of rain in the last, uh, 12 hours, I guess, 24 hours, the last 24 hours. So we're supposed to get a little bit more rain and the uh, newscaster said in the next three days, we could get up to an inch of rain, but uh, they didn't know because it was west of us watching the, the deer run, watching the, uh, it's coming from the west and it could move, could, could move north of us. So we may not get any more than what we're getting uh, this morning and a little bit this afternoon. So anyway, anyway, so the uh, just showing you what my landscaper, the guy who mows my yard, trimmed up this weekend and the new burn pile. Here we go. Well, it's been raining today and you can see the storm clouds it's supposed to clear up for an hour or two. And there may be more rain. So I had the my guy who does my yard come over and thin out the trees today now that it's spring and basically he's taken this whole area from right beside the back bedroom all the way out here to the due south and took out all of the underbush and limbs that were dead and down here below and starting over here. Now what it's done, it's made my water tank uh, viewable, but that's okay. But, uh, oh, and there's a deer right there. And we thinned the limbs that were right here. There were some dead limbs on this cedar tree right here. And then there was a couple limbs over here. But just the rain from today, I can see that we have... Looks like an additional 1,500 gallons since yesterday. 1,500 gallons of water. So that must mean that uh, had a little bit over a quarter of an inch of rain in the last 24 hours. I've been asked what happens when the water tank's full. And back on the back side of the tank, we have an overflow right here. And it dumps out right there and just heard some thunder. So anyway, so the water flows out and I can see where it's flown to the uh, tree right there before the gravel dies down into the ground. So anyway, so this is the overflow and it's got a, a pipe that sits up here right, uh, right below the tank. I think it's right here. So when the water gets to that level, then it starts flowing out. So right here beside the water tank, there is a barbed wire fence that's, that was part of this ranch before I bought it. Pretty old barbed wire looking at it. And so we just pulled it up so the deer and I can walk through here. But what's happened with all these, with all the limb removal is the burn pile. I got a huge burn pile here now. And like I said, this is the backside of the house. So all of this has been opened up and that's quite a bit. Well, obviously it's quite a bit to create this burn pile. And here, the previous owner, there was actually a deer stand here. Climb up and shoot deer from up here. That was uh, the previous owner, I guess. So now I'm under the trees and you can see the house. None of this was visible f before. Like I said, here's that tree stand again. And the final look from here over here at the trees. Okay, so you saw the uh, the cleaning of the brush around the trees really made a difference. Uh, the uh, landscaper, there were two of them, it took them five hours to uh, generate that much brush. And I was quite surprised at how big the burn pile is. So, of course, we can't burn until we get out of the drought. So that means probably 
three or four months, three or four or five months, uh, right before winter time, probably in the late August, September time frame, it should be wet enough that uh, we can burn. We have to call the sheriff and all that kind of stuff. But right now there's definitely a no burn going on. Anyway, uh, back to the uh, window sills next video. Have a great day. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, hit the bell if you want to know when the next video is coming out. See ya.